regulating golf and they are, they've agreed kindly to host Otum for, for a tour and some discussions um, at 4 p.m. tomorrow. Followed by that, Otum for has gracefully also accepted Ambassador's invitation to dinner. So there'll be a dinner at um, King's Barnes Distillery, which is one of our distillery, whiskey distilleries here in Scotland. If you don't care about Scotland, golf, whiskey, those are our expertise. And so um, we, we have exclusive use of the venue and the two for and his guests, 19 guests will be there, followed by a small reception for everybody else to drink as well. Um, after which the two for come back home. And then on Saturday, it's the main program, um, the for will meet with the principal at University House, which is her official residence, on Saturday morning at 10.30 a.m. He will then come back to the estate and then go to the university for his official address at um, Lower College Hall. Um, on the way to Lower College Hall, just at the entrance, we have a small flagstone which the university has in my game and we'd also like to present that to Otunfo to have a look at that. Um, on his way into the venue. Um, followed by that, Otunfo will come back for lunch and refreshment if he wants to change or anything like that, um, ahead of sitting in state at the same venue at 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. and then the, the program will be done. So that's it that's for now. <coughs> take the opportunity to introduce my director for this year, Marley Benino to Otunfo. Um, as I said, I started this organization as a student, and after graduating each year, we've had a council of students who've taken responsibility for this um, summit. And this year and last year, Madeleine was the one who did so. So, with your permission, I'll allow her to introduce herself to Otunfo. It's very important to me that you know how incredible this opportunity is, not just for myself or for the Africa Summit, but for this university. We've not been able to bring in anybody from outside of the UK for our summit since before 2020 um, and for when the president of Ghana came to our summit. So this is incredible that we're finally able to bring in people again. Um, and the fact that it is yourself is even more um, exciting. Beyond just that, I come from a very small town in Connecticut in the United States. There's mostly just trees. And nobody imagines meeting anybody of your caliber or of your status. So what's been incredible about posting this event all over social media has been not just the reaction from students and from community members here, but all over the world. Anybody involved in this, their, their friends from back at home, their family, they all are asking, how can I come and meet? The King, how can I come and watch this event? So my family is in town. One of our family friends traveled from Switzerland to come see this. Oh. The excitement <laughs> that you've generated is, is massive. Um, so not only do I want to thank you, but I also would like to welcome you in a way that is customary to where I come from. So I left Connecticut a couple years ago with my family. We're now living in South Carolina. And one of our favorite new traditions that my mother has probably taken to an extreme is um, the tradition of giving welcoming beads to anybody who comes into our home. So on every door in our house that leads outside, we have a set of welcoming beads. That is a custom that began um, when, unfortunately, slavery was brought to the South. Um, but what that meant is that Southern cultures tend to have a very diverse mix of people coming from all over the world. So our welcoming beads have um, a historical background of Afro-Caribbean influence. Um, and what they are, they have an oyster, which is symbolic of Charleston, South Carolina, and the exports that usually come from our area. And the beads, which are symbolic of um, creations, yes. So they're all over our home, and I wanted to extend them to you to say thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.